teachers have been using the term teaching and instruction interchangeably but actually the meaning of these two terms is different so i think uh, uh, you can very well uh, you see uh, distinguish between teaching and instruction you see instruction can be facilitated through textbook or by watching a video or listening to audio but in case you have any doubt uh, you cannot seek clarification you cannot ask for further information uh, on the other hand teaching involves face to face interaction between the teacher and the students and whenever the students have any doubt they can go for further information teacher can use it supplement so teaching strat uh, instruction strategy when i say strategy strategy you see refers to a pattern of acts that serves to attain certain learning outcomes and to guard against certain others the instructional situation comprises of two sets of factors the first set that is not within the control of the teacher for example the size of the classroom or the number of students in the class and the second factor is that the teacher can modify so this has relevance to ways of asking question motivating students giving assignments etc so teaching strategies can be employed to the second set of factors so uh, in this particular session we will learn the instructional strategies which are very much essential for making teaching learning effective so uh, instructional strategy instructional methods and instructional tactics so we will have an overview of uh, all these you see when i say instructional strategy it is the general view point or a blueprint and a line of action i would say this is a strategy uh, a, a strategy which advocates active learning participation in the lesson will tend to minimize the use of lecture method and in which the student is relatively passive and promote the choice of more learner active methods such as group seminar group project individual tutorials or self instructional packages so these describe the general components of a set of instructional material and the procedures the second one is the instructional methods uh that is you can say arrangement or procedure for facilitating learning there are some commonly recognized methods of teaching like lecture method uh, which all of us have been employing uh, uh, more or less okay we have got discussion method or uh, tutorial method or practical demonstration method so uh, as a teacher you need to employ various instructional methods for achieving varied learning outcomes you cannot you see employ chalk and talk method that is lecture method where you want the students to learn the skill so demonstration method or you see project method in that case would be uh, sufficient so there are variety of instruction method which are you see some methods are useful only in large group like uh, lecture method some methods are used only in small groups like say demonstration project work seminar group discussion panel discussion and there are some method which provide individualized instruction like say computer assisted instruction or self learning mater material okay now coming to the instructional tactics so these are nothing but the detailed activ activities that put instructional strategy and methods into action using various techniques and supported by various means so these are the specific ways i would say that one chooses to implement a particular method in a particular situation so tactics can be used as a part of various method like how to uh, gain the attention of the students how to motivate students how to ask question like that these are some of the 
uh, you see tactics. Now, before we learn, uh, you see various instructional methods. Uh, let us uh, have uh, a distinction between uh, reception learning or you see discovery learning. You see reception learning, whether it is road learning or meaningful learning. You see learning is of two types. Road learning where the teacher is uh, presenting only the abstract knowledge. He is not relating the content with examples from daily life or word of work. So in that situation, the students are required to road memorize that particular material. Now, meaningful learning is possible if the students are able to relate whatever the teacher is telling with their daily life experiences or with the word of work. So when some association is uh, possible. So in reception learning, whether it is road learning or meaningful learning, the entire content of what is to be learned is presented to the student in the final form. The learning task doesn't uh, require or involve any independent discovery on the part of the learner. He or she is required only to internalize or incorporate the material that is presented to him or her so that the material is available or reproducible at some later stage. Now, coming to the discovery learning, the essential feature of discovery learning is that the principal content of what is to be learned is not given, but must be discovered by the learner before he can incorporate it meaningfully into his cognitive structure. Uh, let me, uh, you see, give you one example of discovery learning. Students are provided with, say, mag various types of magnets, compass, uh, then iron and uh, sand mixture and so on. Now they manipulate with it and ultimately they uh, conclude that repulsion is the sure test of magnetism. So that is discovered by them. Okay. So that is uh, discovery learning. So the first phase of discovery learning involves a process uh, that, uh, that is, uh, you see, quite different from that of reception learning. So the learner must reorganize or you can say transform the integrated combination of, you see, uh, combination in such a way uh, as to generate a desired end product or discover a missing means or end relationship. So after discovery learning itself is completed, the discovered content you see, is made meaningful in much the same manner that presented content. Uh, you see, in, uh, that uh, that that the present presented content is made meaningful in the reception learning. So these two, uh, you see, uh, two strategies that emerge from these two types of uh, uh, learning are the expositive strategy, and the second one is the discovery strategy. When we uh, talk about expositive uh, strategy, this is, uh, I would say, more or less teacher-centered strategy and is based upon the teacher presenting knowledge and skill by an exposition, say by a lecture, by talking, or by use of chalk and talk, or offering handouts or setting exercises. Okay, So the students receive the knowledge most passively. Consequently, this is called, you see, receptive learning. Okay. Now, uh, uh, what are the steps involved in the expositive strategy? First is present information. What does it mean? This may be symbolic through explanation or practical through demonstration that is uh, uh, presenting information by the teacher. Second is testing for reception, recall, and understanding. Here, you want to find out, usually, you see, by question answer technique, if the first exposition or usually presentation has been understood, if it has been received by the learner, and if they can recall it by restating in their own words 
and giving you see accurate examples and if they cannot you uh, you see represent you rephrase the information or the skill perhaps in a different that is you are getting some kind of feedback this third step is you are presenting students more opportunities for their practice so you can ask the students to apply your you see general information to particular example or see how far they can apply the skill or part of a skill which you have just demonstrated then you will monitor that is you will see you will test for correct practice that is uh, you will check the accuracy of the student skill practice find out if they have applied their knowledge or skill correctly ensure their performance is accurate when you see practice and the last step is presenting more opportunities for application so this will lead to retention for a longer period of time this will lead to transfer of learning in a new situation so giving students to chance uh, giving the student the chance i would say to use their new knowledge or new skill on the actual job or real uh, life situation or problems so these are the steps employed for expositive strategies now coming to the discovery strategy this is a uh, uh, you see a student centered strategy expositive strategy is a teacher centered strategy so here the students are actively involved and is concerned with students finding out for themselves and learning through their own direct experiences so in this strategy the students uh, you see find out or discover the knowledge for themselves by experiencing the situation with teacher guidance so consequently this is often called as discovery or experiential learning now uh, uh, uh you see the steps involved first is uh, as i told you uh, give students a chance of doing something and seeing how it works out you have given them various types of litmus paper you have given them asserts bases they will manipulate they will discover uh, themselves that uh asserts turn blue litmus red and base bases uh, turn red litmus blue so hopefully by seeing the effects of their actions the students will be able to establish a relationship between cause and effect the second step is the same similar to one that, that is uh, for expositive strategies that is test for understanding of the cause and effect relationship so this may be done by questioning or simply by observation of the reactions of the students so offer more opportunities for discovery if necessary until they have an idea of how to fulfill a goal by acting in a particular way the third step is that uh, uh, test for learning again either by questioning or by observing further activity test for the formation of the general principle underlying the cases presented so present further cases as required until you see the general principle has been learned the final step is offer opportunities for application so you have to check to ensure that the students can apply they are newly learned information to real situations and you see problems so uh, friends uh, let me share with you the uh, the qualities of a good teacher before uh, proceeding with the uh, different instructional methods and strategies uh, firstly uh, it is the confidence confidence comes only once the teacher is uh, you see knowledgeable about his or her subject uh, he has prepared his lecture very well so he goes to the classroom any question comes to him he answers uh, the students queries or answers students question very confidently so that is uh, the confident confidence comes only once uh, he has uh, thorough knowledge about his subject and the second good quality of a teacher is manners okay 
वट एवर यू यू एक्सपेक्ट यूर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम यूर स्टूडेंट यू नीड टू डिमोस्ट्रेट फ्रॉम यूर यू सी पर्सनैलिटी सो गुड एटीच्यूड मैनर्स सो दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एटीच्यूड सो योर एटीच्यूड टूवर्ड्स सब्जेक्ट योर एटीच्यूड टूवर्ड्स स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो दैट शुड बी वेरी पॉजिटिव एंड डिलीजेंस एंड दर गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ ए गुड टीचर एंड enthusiasm the teacher must enter the classroom with an attitude that i am going to enjoy my students and not with an attitude or oh, today there is again a class okay so enthusiasm should reflect from his or her face so enthusiasm is very important now the principles and uh, techniques of uh, you see good instruction very much important preparation and planning you see preparation and planning gives confidence to the teacher because he knows what to do and what not to do in the classroom okay so he can anticipate the likely pro problems or likely question that the student may uh, throw upon him so it gives him confidence and uh, uh, he knows how much content is required for uh, you see delivering instruction what type of media is to be taken what are the learning outcome so planning uh, you see uh, provides uh, planning keeps the teacher on the track it checks haphazard way of teaching second one is very important again inspiring the students to learn you see if you take a horse to uh, drink water uh, uh, he he will not drink water okay so you can want the horse to um, uh, uh, drink water only if you have given him plenty of salt first likewise as a teacher you cannot force your students to learn but you can always make them want to learn by salting the techniques of teaching okay chatpada bana ke jab classroom mein we are presenting the information the student will provide their you see Uh, uh attention to you so gaining attention promotion and maintenance of, of the desire to learn is very important and finally confirm that your instruction has been well received by the student so this is through uh, you see uh, evaluation that is uh, dr sunil isse pichle wali slide dikha denge ek bar E stands for हाँ जी E okay okay enthusiasm हाँ okay ठीक है सर okay so you have to ensure that they have understood whatever you have presented so this is through evaluation that is before coming to the topic you are ensuring that they possess the requisite prerequisites okay secondly during lecture you are asking few questions and finally before leaving the classroom you can provide them a small quiz maybe through google form you have got say 10 multiple choice question uh, um, based upon the topic which you have delivered okay so immediately you will come to know to what extent your lecture has been uh, see, effective or received now coming to the uh, effective instruction so in effective instruction is not only uh not by talk and talk method you see if i tell you something that is you are simply hearing you are definitely going to forget and if as a teacher i am showing something that is i have brought some ppt i have i am sharing some video i have brought charts picture or real life objects in the classroom related to that particular topic it means you are seeing and when you see you believe it Most means you will remember the sari and the fairy hum kathi lage aate and chart bana ke if i involve you that is uh, you are participating then you all of you will be with me that is uh, if i ask you to you see perform something do something you will understand to large extent now uh, coming to uh, the spectrum of instructional methods uh ranging from the teacher centered instruction method towards student centered instruction method 
so teacher centered instruction method are mainly chalk and talk lecture or demonstration or maybe team teaching where two or three teachers uh, they take the joint responsibility of teaching a particular topic to a particular group of students uh, more or less uh, uh, you see you have to make lecture effective by using two way of communication you see uh, in this particular course uh, professor p k singla might have touched with one way communication and two way communication what are the faults with one way communication and what are the benefits of two way communication so you can make your lecture very effective a uh, dialogue where students are participating case studies tutorials problem solving group discussion question answer strategy then the uh, these action oriented methods where students are required to do something that is project work laboratory work workshop assignment presentation role play and towards the right extreme right are the self instructional methods that is uh, uh, computer assisted instruction or Uh, uh, self learning material or cybernetics etc so you should be able to go now the highest officer uh, is that events of instructions are designed to make possible for the learner to proceed from where is at the beginning of a session to the attainment of capabilities identified as the topics so now thoda sa so number of events are designed to make the uh, you see content very effective yes so said that they should exhaust all the channels before sending the things to ministry uh, professor uh, pk singla may i request you to please uh, uh, mute your microphone okay thank you very much so a uh, gaining attention i think you will agree with me that this is throughout the lecture throughout the demonstration the purpose is to alert the student to the reception of the stimulus or stimuli and attention in journal can be gained by rapid introduction of stimulus change so there could be number of tactics to gain attention throughout the lecture one is that uh, you will introduce your lecture uh in, in in a very interesting manner many a times teacher uh, you see introduce their lecture by simply giving a remark today my topic is this today i will teach today i will discuss today i am going to talk to you about this thing so you can uh, you see uh, feel their reactions they the students they will say sir this is your headache please go and break your head so students want to know why they are sitting in the classroom so the why part must be communicated to the students at the beginning of a lecture when well, let me give you one example uh i ask uh, the student one question how do you get Uh, ice from water the simple answer they will say sir by keeping in a fridge wonderful how you get water from ice again they will say sir by um, uh, heating the ice will get water wonderful how do you get curd from milk they they see they, they know it that by putting some uh, you see quantity of uh, curd and in milk and then uh, keeping the milk uh, uh, in a stable position for some time that will get converted into curd wonderful how do you get milk from curd again so they say sir not possible now the teacher will say pani ka barf banna aur barf ka fir se pani ban jana lekin doodh ka dahi to banna doodh dahi se dobara doodh na banna aisa kyu hota hai now they are very much curious to know then you say that these are due to uh, physical and chemical changes taking place in the matter so today in this session we will learn never say i will discuss i will teach because in today's context students are also contributing let me give you one more example uh this is how you will uh help your students to you see uh take their attention 
now you you have uh, uh, um, you see placed one object on on the table and you ask one question what is the position of this object is it at rest or is it moving definitely they will say sir it is at rest you can switch on the fan and other question what is the position of this fan it is in motion wonderful now this object is at rest how we can put it to motion they will say sir by pushing or by pulling it can be put into motion wonderful uh, suppose you are sitting in a moving bus and the driver suddenly applies brakes what happens sir we go forward and what happens when the driver suddenly starts the bus sir we go backward why are these due to then you say that these are due to laws of inertia so today in this session we will learn laws of inertia and then you give an uh, give an overview of your lecture by uh, writing in uh, in bullet forms on the left hand side of the chalkboard that first of all inertia of rest inertia of motion inertia of direction and the examples this is one way of uh, gaining the attention of the students another is many a times we have seen that teachers stand stationary at the lecture stand okay now uh, different students are watching me at a different angle since there is no change in my posture naturally there will be no change in their posture they will tolerate me for some time after that they will experience fatigue so what you have to do is you have to you see use purposeful movements slowly you go to left side stand there for some time and then face uh, uh, one uh, you see side of the classroom move slowly to the right side now uh, you see give your eye contact to the uh, student sitting on the right side you can go inside so you see when i come closer to you you become alert main aankh chura ke dekh sakta hu ki kahin aap meri picture ya koi cartoon to nahi bana rahe you will be alert so one is purposeful movement never stand stationary or, or never sit in chair okay second is uh many teachers they uh, keep their hands in the pockets or a teacher hai usne ek chalk ka tukda liya uske do tukde kiye do ke char kiye char ke chhe and he is playing like this i say by standing like this in front of my house there is a big house now i am repeating again in front of my house there is a big house rainbow is like this so meaningful gestures then third uh is uh change of voice wherever you want to give uh, uh, you see emphasis emphasis you speak that word loudly these are due to laws of inertia okay everybody will be alert attentive okay you can vary the uh, vary the rate of delivery also sometimes slowly sometimes for fast okay so that is then another is uh, change in interactional pattern never lecture all the time involve them you can insert one or two question you can invite one or two question now they will be part so change in interaction pattern another is oral visual switching oral involves sense of hearing visual involves sense of sight so switch over uh, say you are speaking now you write main point on the chalkboard or you show some ppt so uh, these uh, changes should be you see frequently so uh, that will help uh, you to gain their attention and then uh, maintain an eye contact with every student sitting in the classroom okay bahut bar teacher jo hai they uh, he gives his uh, you see glance Uh, uh at uh, the first uh, row or the second row where his favorite students are sitting not like that so usko last bench ko wale student mein aur uski voice bhi itni unchi honi chahiye that the student sitting in the last bench would be able to hear the teacher very well so gaining attention you will agree with me it is throughout the lecture second is informing the students about the learning outcomes learning outcome is a sentence or statement which describes 
what the learner will be able to do at the end of a unit of instruction okay so at the beginning of a lecture they want to know why they are sitting in the classroom so after introducing the topic you will say that in this session uh, after the topic is over you will be able to define inertia you will be able to explain inertia of rest with two example inertia of motion with two example inertia of uh, direction with two example and you will you see uh, explain the three laws of inertia with the examples okay so this is at the beginning now it can be at the end of a lecture also after you see delivering a topic then you say tomorrow uh, we will take up this session where you will be able to do this 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 is so in this you can maintain a continuity in your teaching that is uh, you are communicating learning outcome twice uh before coming to the actual topic that is at the beginning of a lecture and then before leaving the classroom third one is ensuring prerequisites of learners again at two stages firstly to ensure that they possess prerequisites before the start of a lecture whether the students are ready to receive new topic aap hamesha aisa nahi bolenge ki aaj hum inertia padhenge agar ye topic panchvi class ke bacche ka hai Uh, he has not heard about inertia. उसके लिए डरावना शब्द है तो हमें कल रेस्ट मोशन और फोर्स पढ़ाया था आज हम ये इंश्योर करेंगे वेदर दे नो अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेस्ट मोशन ऑन फोर्स देन ड्यूरिंग द लेक्चर जो पिछले साल कुछ पढ़ा या दो उससे पिछले साल कुछ पढ़ा आप कोई डेरिवेशन कर रहे हो यू सी यू हैव अंडरस्टूड यू हैव लर्न द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फोर्स एंड एक्सलेशन लास्ट ईयर can you um, recall what is the relationship between force and acceleration because you want to put the value of f as m into a in a particular derivation so because psychology says that if the previous knowledge is not utilized again and again it will get converted into forgetting then presenting stimulus material and that too you need to provide varied learning experiences okay then comes providing learning guide guidance you have asked one question and the, the student is not able to answer you are giving him clue by breaking down that question into two three small small question or you are giving some hint ki this is a exercise for this this is the hint okay the, that guidance uh, learning guidance can be given and then after asking him to do something now you are asking him to show okay eliciting performer you please come to the board and draw the circle diagram or you, you please show me your notebook and then provide him or her the informative feedback and that to immediate so immediate informative constructive feedback and finally assessing student performance at the end of a lecture uh, now you see many teachers are using google form what they have done uh, after uh, you see uh, the topic is over they have brought one google form containing 10 multiple choice questions and giving the google uh, uh, form link to the students in their whatsapp and they are asked to respond to those 10 questions immediately okay because uh, in today's context everybody has got a smartphone with him or her in in a college so another last is you are giving him or her the exercise list or homework or assignment so that is enhancing retention retention is possible only when he or she is able to transfer whatever he has learned in the class in another situation to solve problem so when he is able to transfer the knowledge learned in the class correctly the student will be able to retain the information for a longer period of time so these are nine events of instruction and these would make your lecture very effective if you just uh, employ uh, all these nine events of instruction now coming to the uh, 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 overview of uh, instruction method firstly the lecture method lecture has been the earlier 
earlier known method of teaching and all of us have been employing this method only this is a technique through which is presented an oral uh, discourse on a particular subject now purpose is to provide factual information purpose is to explain concept and procedure so concepts and procedure would be understood by the students only when the teacher is integrating some media or involving their participation lecture can be used to summarize information or to introduce course material or to clarify relationship between general and specific points to you want to give quick and uh, concise presentation of new and integrated information now uh, let us uh, have a look at when lectures are not appropriate lectures are not appropriate when outcomes other than acquisition of knowledge being sought that is as far as uh, knowledge is concerned lecture can be appropriate but for skill acquisition lecture is not sufficient you need to employ demonstration method you need to ask the student to practice it and also for uh, you see uh, presenting attitude lecture is not sufficient you need to tell the story you need to give uh, the video if i ask you main aapko oral lecture de dun ki bhai cigarette smoking nahi karni chahiye iske bahut harm effect hai will you be able to trust me no unless i you, show you some video clipping from pgi or some other uh, hospital where people are you see struggling okay uh, they are uh, they are crying okay so your attitude will not get change lectures are not sufficient when long term retention is required lectures are not sufficient when uh, the when you want to you see uh, make the students understand concepts factual information is okay okay so lectures are not uh, you see uh, sufficient you need to employ some other method now be, uh, based upon the type of communication employed uh, during a lecture lecture can be one way lecture where one teacher teaches a group exclusively by one way communication usually by talking at the students okay so a uh, teacher is not uh, asking any question teacher is not uh, welcoming the uh, questions raised by the students he says okay please don't ask me any question uh, you, uh, if you have any question uh, you come to my chamber okay so in such a situation the students uh, you see uh, the advantage is that it is very cost effective you don't require anything to prepare for your lecture ओके बिकॉज स्टूडेंट्स ने क्वेश्चन तो पूछने नहीं देना हमने उनको एंड यू कैन कवर मोर कंटेंट मैटर इन लेस टाइप सो इजी टू प्रिपेयर इजी टू ऑर्गेनाइज एंड अप्रोप्रिएट ओनली फॉर इम्पार्टिंग लोअर लेवल्स ऑफ नॉलेज आई थिंक यू यू माइट बी फेमिलियर विद ब्लूम्स एक्सोनमी एट द लोएस्ट लेवल इज रिमेंबरिंग विच इज नथिंग बट फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन ओके बेसिक्स Uh, terminologies remembering then comes understanding when uh, the student is able to uh, you see explain in his or her own words when he is able to translate from one form to another or when he is able to uh, interpolate or extrapolate etc then comes applying that is ability of the student to apply whatever he has learned in a given situation or in a new situation then comes uh, analyzing evaluating and finally creating so as far as the lower level of knowledge that is remembering is concerned lecture uh, alone is sufficient now uh, it it has got limitation that uh, lack of feedback from audience when uh, you are not uh, asking the students to raise their questions so you are not getting the feedback whether and even you are not asking question so when you are asking question it means you get some clue whether your students have understood your lecture or not so students are passive they are in uh, they are not active in the classroom they may uh, indulge in daydreaming or they may uh, the back benches may uh, like to sleep 
because emphasis is only on teacher presentation it is a one form of communication and poor at developing higher mental skills now coming to the two way lecture where one teacher teaches a group exclusively by two way communication usually by talking at and with the group and by involving learners in learning activities so we are lot of uh, you see debate uh, discussion is going on that is the effective lecture or it could be multi way communication where you are allowing students to discuss among themselves now how to make or how to prepare the lecture for effective learning planning is very important planning gives you confidence because you know in advance what to do and what not to do actually planning means plan of actions of what a teacher has to do in the classroom it may include learning outcomes to be achieved amount of content matter to be covered kind of media to be taken kind of question to be asked or type of assignment to be given so it's a kind of blueprint so uh, the planning part includes specifying or formulating learning outcome then preparing the content outline that is uh, do, uh, doing the task analysis i'll give you the example then assuring that is you, you need to assume what the student might have learned for uh, coming uh, for for uh, you see receiving the new lecture selection of instruction media this is again a part of planning planning motivation and reinforcement technique planning assessment technique uh, you need to have a backup plan also for example say you have thought of uh, using delivering your lecture with the help of ppt but when when you uh, uh, enter the class achanak bijli chale jati hai aur maybe ya uh, uh, jo aap pen drive leke gaye hain usme wo corrupt ho gaya so bijli chali gayi aapke paas ppt ka print out hai okay you will say okay no problem i'll develop my lecture with the help of this e content this chalkboard only okay ya aapke paas uh, jo hai aapne email kiya hua apne wo presentation ya maybe aapke paas ek aur pen drive hai wagaira wagaira and Uh, if uh, 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 you are to deliver the lecture first time in a new college then you need to visit your classroom in advance you have to familiarize yourself with the layout of the chairs desk and the front of the classroom kaisa hai kahan par mujhe khade hona hai so that will uh, give you lot of confidence uh, uh, these are the uh, मैंने आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट कॉग्निटिव डोमेन अफेक्टिव डोमेन साइकोमोटर सो दीज आर दी डिफरेंट लेवल्स सो आई एम नॉट यू सी गिविंग यू इन डिटेल रिमेंबरिंग दैट इज रिकॉलिंग इंफॉर्मेशन देन कम्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट इज एक्सप्लेनिंग आइडियाज और कॉन्सेप्ट देन कम्स अप्लाइंग दैट इज यूनिक यूजिंग इंफॉर्मेशन इन एन अदर फेमिलियर सिचुएशन देन एनालाइजिंग uh involves critical thinking that is analyzing basically means breaking something into its constituent parts and looking for various relationships then evaluating again involves critical thinking but at this time uh the student will be able to justify a decision or you see course of the uh, action and finally creating again critical thinking but generating new idea product or ways of viewing things so we are Uh, you are asking him to consolidate the lower order uh, knowledge okay now uh, organizing the content for this you need to carry out task analysis task analysis is a process of uh, you see breaking down uh, the bigger topic into constituent parts and then looking for various relationships so let me you see uh give you illustration say there is any one topic for teaching topic or for teaching a skill or for even teach uh, uh, for a job say uh setting up a lathe or verification of ohms law comes under job topic may be uh, this topic instruction strategy now for this i have to teach first of all this then this then this then this this okay now for delivering this one uh i must teach these two 
for this com, uh, uh, unit i need to explain all these five uh, sub units and then this one so you will go on breaking down till the task is completely defined nothing is required to uh, you see explain that particular so you see that the content is less detailed at the top and it is fully detailed at the bottom so in the classroom we'll move from uh, downward down to upward okay but task analysis is carried out from top to bottom okay now then uh, the second stage is delivery so you need to uh, introduce the lecture uh, arouse curiosity create interest never uh, introduce your topic by a simple remark my lecture is this my topic is this today i will teach today i will discuss no you have to create situation okay the purpose is to make the students ready to receive new instruction you need to give uh the significance the importance of that particular topic only then they will start giving their attention so for this you can review the prerequisites so you can explain the significance you can give the rationale of the new topic and then provide them an overview by uh, stating the learning outcomes to be achieved at the end of a lecture so introduction then the second stage is the development stage so here you will uh, try to uh, uh, keep in mind the management of time so you will uh, include the content amount of content which you can co uh, cover uh, conveniently within the time limit available and providing a logical organization by uh, making it very much clear simple to difficult okay more say concrete to abstract or say um, uh, 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 specific to generalization in between you can also use the words which can ex, uh, which can link one sentence with another sentence like because in order to if then therefore consequently and and uh, sometimes you can also uh, throw uh, you see uh, light on the verbal markers of importance now note this it is especially important to realize that now let me come to perhaps one of the most important point of all okay now when you say this everybody will be allowed to see you or you have you, you have written uh, one uh, word and you are uh, highlighting with this circle this is very important please note uh, take note of it okay write down in your piece of uh, uh, in your notebook so use verbal markers of importance then another is the maintaining attention I have already uh, um, uh, uh, given you the components of stimulus variation that is uh, uh, meaningful uh, gestures, purposeful movement, change of voice, audio visual switching, uh, change in interaction pa pattern, eye contact and like that. Facial expression. Always enter the class with a smiling face. You see, smile is an inexpensive way to improve your looks. So once you enter, enter with an attitude that I'm going to enjoy my students. So definitely they would like to uh, listen to you. Maxims of teaching, simple to difficult, example to generalization, observation to reasoning. You are showing some events and asking them to explain the reason so these are then physical activity maybe note taking ask them to note down okay or yes draw the sketch now please come here and uh, draw the sketch on the chalkboard so involve their participation language Our purpose is not to impress upon our students with the use of bombastic language. Our purpose is to make the message clear. 
so always speak in the language of students maybe uh, uh bilingual okay rate of delivery should be according to the level of the students your voice should be loud enough to be heard by the students sitting at the last bench there should be continuity in your lecture okay A reinforcement you have to provide once the student has answered the question you will say wonderful ramesh you have said very rightly okay you need to integrate media not to use media when the need arises only show the media link it with okay ask question invite questions provide feedback and you may use sometime humor also because it may uh, you see increase productivity the relevant joke and uh, above all you have to be very much enthusiastic so show enthusiasm you should be enthusiastic about your subject about your topic and your enthusiasm to deliver the lecture with a smiling face with the involvement of your students and the last stage in the lecture is the consolidation phase uh, during which the teacher will summarize the main points he has covered uh giving them few questions giving them assignments and one more thing list of references good books google uh, uh references links or if you have noticed some good video available on youtube please note the link and uh, uh, provide the link to the students in their whatsapp okay you may use facebook or whatsapp twitter for you see uh, instructional purposes in the classroom then comes the demonstration method uh it is a combination of verbal explanation coupled with a live display using apparatus for presenting important facts ideas or processes so demonstration can be used to achieve learning outcomes in all the three domains that is knowledge skill and attitude this is the best method for you see delivering lecture or say uh, uh, showing skill or uh, you see demonstrating the attitude cognitive psychomotor and affective objectives can be achieved uh, for uh, understanding concepts principles and skills this method is very useful now the criteria of a good demonstration it has to be planned it has to be rehearsed in advance and even friends uh, even a well rehearsed well uh, practiced demonstration sometime may fail in the classroom so you have to pose problem before the student why did we fail in this experiment let us identify the reasons what are the problems okay so in this way you can uh, maintain the confidence and the interest of your students clarity of the purpose clarity of the demonstration must be clear to the teacher must be made uh, uh, clear to the students also visibility you are demonstrating some model it should be of large size so that even the students sitting at the back bench may be able to see it properly contrasting color within the model and you are demonstrating and you are also uh, explaining so audibility part arranging material say you are performing experiment how to prepare carbon dioxide gas so arrange all the apparatus uh, in a sequence you have used some of the material you keep on the uh, to the right hand side to be used one uh, may be kept on the left hand side uh, recording steps one step you have demonstrated now you record the step on the chalkboard or you can uh, show the ppt then uh your demonstration 
uh, if it is carried out in the classroom, theory classroom, it should not be very lengthy. Lengthy demonstration can be given in the practical. And uh, you need not, uh, uh, you should not rush or you should not uh, com uh, complete the uh, demonstration uh, in a hurry. You see, you must no uh, notice that your students are watching your demonstration for the first time. Please proceed slowly and asking and um, um, giving them some time to note down. Distributing handouts at the end if it is possible and checking continually that your demonstration is being understood. It means asking question during demonstration. Only then you will know that uh, your demonstration is being understood by your students. Seminar method. You are, you see, in foreign countries, uh, the professor comes in the first class and he allots the topics to all the students. Schedule is prepared. On this day, this gentleman has to make the um, uh, present the seminar on a particular topic. Now that gentleman is not only preparing for that topic. All of the students are also required to, uh, you see, prepare for that particular topic. Now the specific student will make a presentation. The other students will ask question or will supplement. And teacher is also available. He will also supplement. And at the end, the quiz is given. That is, uh, the whole you know, syllabi is completed through seminar method. Now, please uh, note that the teacher has to prepare for the lecture, the student, and the other students. OK? So a type of group discussion where one learner or several prepares a paper on a given topic, issue, or problem, which is then presented to the whole group for discussion and analysis. So seminar is basically for exchanging information, views, ideas, or recollection of experiences, or stimulating each other's thinking, broadening their outlook. So group becomes independent. Why? Because every student has to, you see, consult library, internet for preparing uh, the topic or for preparing for the seminar. So they are not dependent. Teacher may give uh, students some references. And uh, this requires the employ employment of a higher level cognitive ability because uh, uh, it will help students reach up to creating level and uh, presentation skills. Uh, this is a, uh, uh, you see, a course on presentation skills. So students learn how to present the seminar and uh, inculcate good habits among students because uh, uh, they, uh, they develop positive attitude toward other students also. So they get some skill to, uh, you see, uh, uh, Patients hearing kaise karni dusre ko. Now, the stages involved in a seminar, basically two stages. One is presentation by the one member and then followed by group discussion by other members. Now, role of the teacher when preparing, select learners, select topics for discussion, acquaint presenters with a summary and a session just before seminar. Now, role of the teacher during the seminar. He will he, he would be in background. He would uh, help presenter when essential, resolve any problem, and evaluate at the end. Role of presenter is prepare paper, consult teacher or internet, and avoid sidetracking. Role of learners as listeners, interested audience. They would contribute, analyze arguments, support presenter, avoid negative behavior, and apply to own situations. Now coming to group discussion method, again, a very useful method. And uh, this method is being used to 
judge the student's ability uh, uh, you see uh, as far as the placement is concerned uh, whether he would be able to work in a group or not so that is a very gd is uh, carried out so it's a learning experience where a group of learners express their varying views to arrive at a conclusion or mutual understanding or clarification of an idea and it is useful when learners have some knowledge of the subject either you want to pool their experiences that they need to know others point of view for modifying their own fixed ideas purpose is to train students to apply knowledge think critically solve problem explore merits of a subject and create new interest now the stages involved in a group discussion first is planning and preparing for gd and second is conducting gd planning and preparing for gd means determining your objective determine the size of the group make an outline for gd it be in in points ke upar discussion hogi consider the prerequisites anticipate the problems or controversies ensure physical environment acoustics lighting etc and uh, during the conduct of group discussion form a group circular seating select one learner as a moderator 15 to 20 minutes group discussion uh, the moderator is to present uh, sorry the 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 leader uh, is to present his views uh, analyze the observations of the group panel discussion again uh, the uh, it it also involves group discussion but here uh, three or four members as panelists will talk to three or four issues one by one which would be followed by group discussion so it is a discussion held by three to six speaker which is then listened to by an audience who follow the panel discussion with a general group discussion so a panel you see raises issues provides facts and stimulates interest uh, in the selected uh, topic helps you promote interaction provides a chance to analyze the viewpoints of others defend their own and make contribution sometimes the difficulty is that uh, discussion may be unsystematic and sometimes you get lot of uh, ideas and it is very difficult to consolidate and uh, some panelists take lot of time or they uh, indulge in side tracking so control is difficult and sometimes some areas are left untouched or uncompleted so this is uh, the limitation uh, the stages involved is discussion by panelist and general discussion by whole group so one of the panelists acts as a chairperson to monitor the discussion he or she introduces the topic and sub topic that the panelist would be discussing select topic select panelist brief each panelist about topic issue uh, decide about the date and time decide about the size of audience the nature of the audience during the panel discussion arrange seating uh, begin discussion with a short introduction and monitor discussion and during the general discussion invite contribution and uh, as a teacher you need to fill in any gap or you need to monitor the uh, discussion brainstorming method again a very useful method of uh, utilizing students analyzing and critical thinking skills so brainstorming you see a creative group work to produce large number of ideas in which group members produce a large number of ideas around a topic quickly for subsequent evaluation and the rule is that they are free to comment upon even they can uh, you see share even a stupid idea you see even some this is brainstorming is for uh, you see promoting creativity i if i ask you uh, say there are uh, bricks bricks are usually used for construction purposes now can you uh, think of 
the unusual users of bricks please come out immediately or there are different types of boxes size is no problem number is no problem can you think of unusual users of cardboard boxes so they will come out with number of ideas okay so uh introduction uh, the, this is the step that is uh, for intro during instruction you please the object is uh, you uh, uh, use ice breaker okay uh, i have given you one example so define the problem focus on the subject select one focus statement brainstorming draft test suggestion and evaluation encourages creativity requires not much preparation it helps you to think around a topic but it is not a systematic way of studying some are reluctant to participate because everybody doesn't participate sometimes difficult to summarize many ideas made by the group tutorial method is also used in, in uh, technical institution uh, because uh, you see that uh, basically teaching is directed to every student and there are gaps in their understanding and student many a times do not approach the teacher for clarification in the class because of uh, lack of confidence because uh, being unsure of worth wildness of their question or problem in the eyes of the teacher or in the eyes of other student or heavy work schedule of the teacher and the student so discussion involve it it involves a discussion between teacher and either one or small group not more than 3 of learners where a paper is presented or a problem is considered or a material prepared you see is discussed uh, in the classroom okay so uh, you see uh, it's a uh, it in, uh, it involves a course work to be discussed so the assessment of course how performance be improved and and so on and uh, uh, move amongst them during tutorial uh, talk to them listen to them clarify their ideas guide them towards problem situation and so on and students may discuss with each other during tutorial and uh, uh it takes into consideration the individual differences why because the groups uh, is very small and teacher uh, gives one to one uh, you see uh, uh, uh one to one um, discussion is there and uh, through this method you can establish good rapport with your students because of uh, the small number you can provide guidance you can organize remedial uh, help and it provides freedom to the student to seek clarification from the teacher and uh, this will help them to raise their level of performance now uh, the do um, uh, the uh, precaution is that uh, make sure that attainment of objectives at the end of tutorial session uh, establish successful interpersonal interaction and make the learner first feel at ease time consuming to have and it is useful only small groups simulation and games another very important method which combines the qualities of a game with those of a simulation an imitation of a reality players observe and analyze the effect of the interrelationship between the material people information and messages increases motivation and interest you can practice social skill also role playing method again a simulation which involves focuses on interaction between the players without a structure of rules or competition it is highly student centered students become aware of feelings of others and try to view situation from others point of view project work can be given uh, in technical institution project is nothing but an inquiry which is conducted personally by a learner for using a variety of exercise activities analysis interpretation planning to understand a task or study a subject and to write a report design and make a product or organize a procedure or solve a problem so selection of the project planning for the project which may include listing resources sequencing scheduling record system assessment schedule evaluation execution of the project report writing and evaluation of the project case study method is used uh, for involving 
students thinking skills so a case is presented to the student and followed by three to four questions so students can work upon the case individually or in small group so it is a reconstruction of real life situation which is examined by one or a group of learners using the mental skills of a problem solving and decision making of you see analyze analysis synthesis and evaluation for purpose of establishing general principles so it is a written account of problem or situation as encountered or explained with some background complexity of the situation and provide details of what happened during the situation or problem described so uh, the the problem is writing a skill uh, writing a case requires expertise and time to diagnose what the problem or issue in the case is and why they have occurred develops analytical and problem solving skills allows for exploration of solutions students may not see relevance to own situation sometime uh, incomplete information is given so which can lead to inappropriate results but case study method is not suitable for psychomotor objectives that is skill component steps gain an overview of the case so ask student to read the case quickly to gain familiarity note that case studies often contain substantial information with information presented sometimes in uh, uh, unorganized manner uh, case study usually present information chronologically so establish what has happened our students to go over the case in greater detail to establish a clear picture of what has happened establish the who what where and when of the situation determine the causes try to separate symptoms from problems rank order the critical problems or issues then develop possible solution evaluate these solutions consider each possible solution detailing exactly what would need to be done asking students to think about any constraint they can assign weights and values to the solution and finally why are the chosen ideas superior and how will they work and finally formulate recommendations and then evaluate the these solutions caselets new term uh, for some of you uh, that is uh, when the students are presented a set of information uh, you see given in uh, uh, you see paragraph form okay that is uh, uh, caselets so uh, caselets uh, you see uh, uh, for example uh, you have given uh, some direction one paragraph this is simply uh, similar to the uh, 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 comprehension uh, you see uh, exercise uh, which is given in language okay caselets uh, no tables or graphs are given students have to read the information and draw a table or organize the given data to solve the question so highlight or underline the important facts and figures and if possible make your own table or chart or a graph for solving these types of question but uh, 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 there is a difficulty to manage as the interpretation of required data uh, in a meaningful manner is left to students ability to comprehend the data, uh, facts to see then computer assisted instruction is a method of providing individualized instruction in which student is active and proceeds at his or her own pace and is provided with immediate knowledge of result so computer assisted instruction or self learning material so these are individualized instructional method where student is active because the content is broken down into small chunk of uh, units and there is a interactive language 
when the student studies the material he thinks that the teacher is talking to him and not simply he is reading of the text from a textbook and lot of uh, uh, illustration lot of examples then there are inbuilt practice task question inbuilt uh, feedback uh, to practice task question is also given so uh, uh, you can uh, you see uh, uh, you can also uh, upload video or uh, uh, you can also bring animations in the computer instruction uh, assist packet nowadays days now uh, now um, uh, these days the teachers are developing computer instruction uh, assisted instruction package or self learning material and they are you see uh, uploading or sharing the material with the students so large storage capacity this is the uh, characteristics of a good computer fast operating speed again another characteristics and interactive graphics so these make the use of computer is in assisted instruction very effective for uh, you see self instructional or for self learning purposes so uh, it can you it can be used to present information to the learner to receive uh, learner's response analyze the response provide feedback take appropriate actions like uh, remedial information cross questioning help in analyzing the problem etc so there are uh, different uh, styles of uh, ci package one is uh, drill and practice another is tutorial investigation problem solving simulation games laboratory support computational etc and now uh, we are also uh, making use of flipped classroom as a instructional method you see uh, this is the reverse of traditional classroom in a traditional classroom the teacher pours the information that is he delivers the lecture in the class and gives them homework which is uh, uh, required to be completed at home now many students do not submit uh, or complete homework some many a time they copy the um, uh, uh, assignment from others now this is the reverse teacher has prepared e content that is self learning material or computer assisted instruction teacher has also developed a video with the help of his own mobile camera or large number of videos are available on youtube he has identified the video and uh, noted down the link now in a flipped classroom the teacher is providing e content or videos to the students in advance that is in their maybe uh, uh, in their uh, in their whatsapp number or maybe the material has been uploaded on the website of the institute so students are required to study the material at home and when they come to the class actual problem solving will be carried out so a flipped classroom is one that inverts the typical cycle of content acquisition and application so that students gain necessary knowledge through e content self learning material cai package video before class and teacher guide students to actively and interactively clarify and apply that knowledge during class so students become responsible they study the material uh, at home and uh, when when they come to the class uh, certain gaps are filled in by the teacher sometime teacher gives the supplement information okay because they have got some uh, doubts they have some queries so teacher provides them more examples and then problem solving is carried out individually or in small groups and this is a wonderful technique and many good institutions have started using flipped classroom as a method of imparting instruction because uh, in uh, in theory classroom generally the teacher dictates from his or her notes okay or uh, uh, dictation is given from the textbook okay and students are simply noting down so that material you are giving them in the form of e content okay they are uh, and that is available to them in even jo absent bachcha aaj hai theek hai 
uh, he will not be deprived of the teacher's lecture now you see classroom mein teacher ne ek bar bol diya now e content and videos are available with the student the e content can be re read again and again or the video can be watched again and again so this will help the students retain the knowledge for a longer period of time so now uh, i stop my session here and i open the session uh, you see for uh, discussion